G'day everyone and welcome to Pepsing. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a reaction role and verification system using the bot Me6. Now Me6 is an extremely common bot and you've probably heard of it or even have it in your server. And a feature about Me6 is that it can create reaction roles quite easily. In fact, Me6 is probably the easiest and fastest way to create a reaction role for your server. First, I need to mention that this Me6 video is just one video of my series on how to create a verification and reaction role system using discord bots so if you'd like to know how to make reaction roles using other bots you can check out my playlist or my videos on my home screen showing a few other bots such as carlbot and yag pdb on how to create reaction roles and with that said let me show you how this verification and reaction role system works if you already know how to make a verification system with the roles and permissions then you can just skip ahead to the time shown on the screen all the timestamps in the description or you can look at the chapters on the progression bar of this video so let's pretend we are a new account. I'm on my alt account right now, and we can see that we have no roles. We also cannot see any other channel within the test server, and we can only view the verify. So quite simply with a Me6 reaction role, we just click on the reaction here, and it gives us the verified role. As you can see on the left, it has also opened up the rest of the channels on the test server. This obviously isn't my main server, and we now have the role to type in the general chat. And that is quite simply both the verification and reaction role system from Me6. And now we'll jump into exactly how to make that. One final thing to say is guys, I'd really appreciate if you guys join my Discord server after watching this video. I have a whole bunch of interesting channels here and some bots that you may want to see how I implement them. So to make a simple verification system, firstly go to server settings and go to roles. What you then want to do is create the plus here to make a new role and rename that whatever you want to call it. This will be your verified role, but the name does not matter. So you can literally name it whatever you want and whatever color you want to give it. And then the key point with the verified role is that you want to have it read and send messages. These are the absolute basic permissions you want the role to have. Once you go to roles, you want to head over to at everyone and make sure that every permission is turned off. Some people have their server set up different with the at everyone role, but to make this verification system work the way I make it work, you want the everyone role to have zero permissions. And that is it. That is all you need to do to have a verified system. It is that easy. And then you can just click out and escape. What you then want to do is make a category and channel that is for verification. What you then do is edit the channel, go to permissions and make sure to turn the at everyone to send messages off, but read messages on. Make sure that this is the only single channel that the at everyone role can read. Unverified people need to be able to read this channel. Otherwise they won't have anywhere they can verify themselves. Now, if you want the verified channel to disappear out of the verified person's site once they're verified so they can no longer see it, what you can do is make the verified role unable to read this channel and click save changes. And what this will do is once someone's verified, they earn the verified role and then they can no longer read the verified channel. So it does save space and makes it look a little less clunky for people once they're verified. And that's all you need to do for the server. So now we'll move on to the bot. Also guys, keep in mind, I'm showing you the reaction role for verification system, but you can literally use this reaction system on any part of your server, on any channel, anywhere for anything you want. You don't have to make this for verification. You can have a reaction role for people to pick up roles such as what games they're into, what sort of device they use, what country they're from. It does not have to be for verification. And as you can see on my server, I have reaction roles for just about everything. I'm not using Me6 for this one as I do like to use the other bots, but just like Me6, you can literally use reaction roles for anything and it does not have to be just for verification. Now we wanna to head to the Me6 website. So just type in mee6.xyz to their official website and hit enter. If you're brand new to Me6, then you probably wanna log in first and then click authorized. Now, if you don't have any servers, much like my alt account here, then you'll see this. But we'll just go back to my main account. So once you're here, you can choose my servers and then find the server that you wanna make your verified role in. We're currently using test server, so we will set up Me6 to that server. Just click continue, make sure it's going to the right server and then choose the permissions you want to give the bot. Me6 is a pretty handy tool for moderation. So you probably already have it using all this stuff, but it currently doesn't need administrator for reaction roles. So you can untick that if you want to. You can untick most things, but obviously you want it to be able to read and send messages, but you need to have it be able to manage roles. I'm not a robot. Quickly go back to your server and make sure Me6 has joined the server. Then go back up to server settings, roles, Me6, 
and make sure it is above all the other roles. This is so it can use its permissions over the verified roles and things like that. And it's basically always a given to make sure the bots are above every other role in your server. Also make sure it can manage roles as this is needed and then press save changes. Go to your verified channel, settings, permissions, and me6 and make sure that me6 can read messages, send messages, attach files, just let it do links and make sure it can add reactions and external emojis. And that is it. Now, once you've done that, head back over to me6, go to reaction roles. So once it's enabled, you can click on reaction roles and you will see this. This is super easy and quick to do. So select your channel, which is gonna obviously be verify. You can type whatever you want in the message. You got a whole bunch of words you can use. Choose your color. And then the most important part is adding a reaction and a role. You can literally choose whatever emoji you want. Uh, we'll just go with a thumbs up. And then what you need to do is click the plus and add the verified role. Now me6 only gives you two options, which is exactly why I have used other bots for my reaction role selections and also made tutorial videos on how to use those bots because me6 has a very limited selection and I would recommend like Carlbot or YagPDB, but I mean me6 works. So you can just click the default option and you can read here what it does. And that is it. And that is it. Just press save head back to your server, you will see that me6 has added the reaction role. If we go over to my alt account, as you can see here, we have currently no roles at all, and we cannot read any other channels except for the verified. So me6 is here, we click the thumbs, and all of a sudden it has opened the other channels. Almost forgot to mention guys that you can add to the one single me6 reaction role message. Currently the non-premium version of me6 only lets you use two slots and two different reactions and reaction roles, but that's still pretty handy if you want to make a verification system. All right, and that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please comment below if you like the way I made my videos. Give the video a like if you did enjoy it and any sort of feedback is super useful, so let me know. In fact, you can feel free to join my server Server, check out how I use my bots, how I set up my channel, and you can even talk to me in the general chat. So guys, make sure you subscribe if you want to see any of my future videos, as you may never be recommended another one of my videos ever again. Finally, if you really like the way I make my videos, then please check out my Patreon. Even just $1 a month lets me know that you truly support my videos. In the description below, feel free to check out my Patreon or my Discord server. This has been a video on how to create reaction roles and a verification system using Me6. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next video.